Hi everyone, I'm back at you again with another adorable tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make this log cake that's in the shape of a kitty cat. How cute is that? It's super easy to make, so let's get started. I started off with a cream piece of colored clay and I rolled it into a really thick flat coin. I would say it's about a centimeter in thickness. And once you're done, go ahead and make the kitty cat ears. I just made two little triangles and stuck them on both sides on top of the log cake. Now you want the cat ears to look like it's actually part of the cake and that you didn't stick it on. So make sure you blend it in really, really well and start texturing the cake with either some crumpled up foil, a toothbrush, back of a paintbrush, whatever it is, just make sure the texture looks like a real cake. After giving my cake a general texture, I went back over it with a needle to form little tiny circles everywhere. And by drawing in little small circles, you make it look more like a sponge cake. It has a very three-dimensional texture to it. So make sure you cover the entire piece of clay with a really good sponge texture. Don't miss any parts. Take some red and transparent clay and mix it really well together. This is going to form the filling inside your log cake and will have a slight transparent look that's very similar to jelly. Using a dotting tool, I'm actually going to outline where this little jelly piece is going to be. And this will help me define where I'm going to put the face. Right here, I'm just putting a small triangle to form the nose and two little small strips of clay to form the cute little kitty mouth. Give your cat some really small eyes next to its nose and mouth. And I'm going to take some red chalk pastels and I'm going to put on a little bit of blush right underneath its eyes. This will make your cat look like it's blushing. Once you're done, place your jelly filling where you had placed your small indentions earlier. To form the whipped topping, you're going to take some white clay and you're going to shape this into a tiny little cone. Gently position this on the center of your log cake slice. And once you're done, take a dotting tool and you're going to form a little dent near the center. And this is where your leaf and your little strawberry is going to go. So taking a green piece of clay, I'm just adding a little bit of textures to the leaf to make it look more realistic. And once you're done with it, place it on the center of your whipped topping and place a small red piece of clay to form your little strawberry or cherry. And you guys, this is a log cake, so don't forget to put the swirl on the back as well. Using a dotting tool, I'm now forming little dents all along the white cream to make it look a little more three-dimensional like it came out of a whipped cream can. I'm just forming lines diagonally all across the piece of clay. Using some brown and yellow pastels, I'm gently dusting on an outer coating of my log cake so it looks like it's been baked in the oven to a really nice toasty color. So now's a great time to bake your clay piece until it's rock hard. I baked mine for about 20 minutes at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And once it's done baking, take some glaze or nail polish that's clear and put in some red pastels into it. Mix it together to form a jelly-like colored consistency. Once you're happy with the color, you can place this on the ears of the kitty cat so it looks like there's jelly filling inside of the adorable little ears. Do let that dry and don't forget to glaze the little strawberry cherry and glaze the center jelly so it looks realistic. There you have it, an adorable log cake slice in the shape of a cute little kitty cat. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. For more like these, please subscribe and browse my other videos for more. If you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, my usernames are down below. Good luck everyone, bye and thanks for watching.